everybody, it's Katie. I just wanted to talk about something that came up recently on Facebook and I thought was pretty interesting. I've been continuing to think about it like in the days since since then. I put I shared like a link. I, I posted um, an article from some blog or something um, that listed like 15 things, creepy things that kids have said to babysitters. <laughs> um, the babysitters reporting like stories, you know, things the kids said. And they were all pretty much related to some something sort of supernatural. Um, and then this kind of like sparked, people commented on, on that link and it sparked a really interesting kind of discussion for me. People sharing um, other stories, things that their own kids have said, things that they said as children that their parents told them about. Um, and just kind of the whole, like the whole conversation about um, how maybe, depending on your beliefs, like children seem to have a kind of a special connection to the supernatural, whatever that is, like the spirit world, um, whatever, you know, whatever your particular um, worldview, your, your particular belief system allows for. I think most people believe in something like, you know, ghosts or angels or um, some kind of afterlife or, um, you know, past lives, something like that. And I feel like children um, just have a really special kind of perception that way, maybe because they just don't have the filters that we do. You know, as we get older, just um, we start to realize that people have different beliefs and some people get freaked out by stuff or some people think this all this stuff is really weird. And so we kind of, um, you know, learn to, to kind of hold back and not necessarily share like every kind of special experience maybe that you've experienced. I myself had several experiences with ghosts as a child and adolescent and um, also in this house, <laughs> as, like as an adult recently in this house, ghosts or some sort of spirit presence, something like that. And I also shared that um, Alice has experienced something um, in this house that she's told us about. I think, I've been trying to think back, I think it was when she was around two years old because um, she definitely had the language enough to, you know, to to say something. <laughs> um, but there were there have been several times, or maybe a few times, um, in the middle of the night that she's woken up. Um, she doesn't normally wake up in the middle of the night at all, but there's been a few times that she has, you know, just come to our room kind of for no reason. She's just woken up, um, or she's woken up to go to the bathroom or something, and she's mentioned, there's a man in my room. <laughs> That's always completely freaked me out. Of course, I, like, go and check because I'm very much more afraid of like a real you know physical human person being in there somehow than any kind of the other thing um so obviously <laughs> i've always checked and there hasn't actually been a man there but alice is just a really perceptive kid she's very um she's just very visual she's very kind of kind of tuned into her environment maybe all kids are i don't know i, I guess i don't have you know, the, the kind of experience with other children that I have with her and just how closely I know her and I know how her brain works in that. So it really doesn't surprise me that much that she maybe is aware of, you know, of other things in her environment that we as adults kind of tune out or, um, you know, maybe she just, she just has like a little bit more um, ability to perceive things that other people don't. I've seen another blog post. It wasn't the babysitter one, but I think it was... I think it was actually the same website, but a different post. I'll try to find it, but I think it was parents reporting on, you know, kind of creepy things that their kids have said. Um, and it is amazing. I'll try to link both of those articles if I can find them. It's incredible to me how many of these stories seem to involve kids being somehow like aware of past lives or like really, really young kids um, being aware of having um, siblings who died as babies or something, even though the parents had never, you know, no one had ever mentioned it you know in families where like they never had any discussion about this whatsoever it's just to me it's it's totally fascinating so i just wanted to kind of like throw this out there to continue the discussion like i said it's so interesting to me i don't want to offend anyone i know everyone again has like different beliefs about sort of this kind of stuff so i just wanted to put this out there to i guess just try to continue the conversation if your kids have talked about like seeing ghosts or something like about past lives or if you remember those kind of experiences from your own childhood tell me about it um and how do you you know how do you respond with alice i really try to like validate um what she you know says that she's experienced i mean i guess at this age you know kids imaginations are so active that 
I, I don't personally I don't really want to squelch any of her kind of like pretend plays even if this is just her making it up or having a, a dream or whatever um, I just you know I, I feel like I need to just um, allow her whatever is her reality at this point um, is, is okay like I want I don't want her to censor herself or think that um, you know anything just about how, the way she experiences the world isn't the right way or isn't true or something like that so I just kind of let it stand and just let her know that she's safe and stuff and I'm curious to see you know how other people um, kind of kind of would respond and how, how you feel about it so that's it let me know and if you want to follow me on Facebook um, I will link to my YouTube Facebook account below please send me a private message though with your request and just help me connect like a YouTube name to Facebook name. If I can find them, I will also link to both of the blog posts or whatever they are that I talked about. Um, but I would recommend not going and reading them if you're going to be like alone tonight or if you're, you know, you're going to be up in the middle of the night or whatever, because at least for me, um, I don't know, it sticks with me for a couple of days. Thanks for watching and sweet dreams.